Today's topic, you're losing $50,000 a year. Hi, I'm Doug Holt with author of Your Own Story, and this is your Daily Growth Hack, where each day we give you a tip, trick, or insight to help you up-level what we call the 5-2 Thrive. That is your mind, your body, your soul, your relationships, and of course, your business. Now, this is a conversation I have often. How many times are you actually wasting time during your day? Now, when I have this conversation, of course, it's usually over somebody's goals. And what I'm talking about is how much time is actually spent on social media, on Facebook, just catching up on what people are doing, or on YouTube watching videos that you don't even care about. In fact, videos that, that leave you less inspired when you walk away. These could be music videos or how-to videos or something else, or TV, right? How often do you sit down to watch the news for an hour or, or watch your favorite show for two, three, four, five hours over the time? Or how many times are you just not being efficient? Kind of like twiddling your thumbs and find yourself just walking around your house aimlessly. Now, most people I talk to, it's anywhere between four and eight hours, which I know if you're hearing this and you actually haven't thought about it, it sounds like a ton of time, and it is. But when you actually track that time, for the average person, it's usually between four and eight that I talk to, and I'm dealing with ultra high achievers. So I would say for most of us, it's probably closer on the six. Now, I'm guilty of this too, of course. You know, my wife and I, we love different TV shows and we'll sit down, we'll watch them. And, you know, as soon as one episode finishes, we'll say, let's watch the next one. And we'll go on. Next thing you know, two hours is gone. And, you know, and sometimes I'll walk away going, geez, that wasn't really quality time. You know, we didn't really have quality time together. We both had entertainment time. And sometimes I find myself watching a show that I don't really even care about. I mean, do you do that? You're watching shows or you're on social media really just to kill time or avoid doing the important. And that's really what we're talking about. You know, oftentimes when we're actually doing these things, these things that are unimportant, checking Facebook or checking email repeatedly or whatever it may be, it actually makes us feel worse about ourselves. You know, this can also be TV shows. I know a lot of you out there who are entrepreneurs or aspiring entrepreneurs, and you watch shows like Billions or Ballers because uh, you know you get inspiration from those shows. But oftentimes when I talk to you, really you get inspiration, but you also feel bad about yourself because you think you should be the, this award-winning actor or you should be this bestseller or you should be you know somebody who is you know killing it on the speaking circuit or personal development line. You know, you think you should be this number one person. This would be like me thinking I should be the best, you know, radio host or best voice or best videographer or something like that and not doing the work to do it and getting depressed. And when you watch these shows, it reminds you often of the things you're not doing because you're, you're doing that to escape. You're doing that as a part of escapism to avoid doing the important things that you know you should be doing. But what does this equate to, right? So if you're doing this four hours a day, which for most and the average people I talk to is pretty much minimum when you track it. And when I say track it, I'm using things like rescue time. I usually have most of my clients get the rescue time application. Uh, it's free for the basic version. There's other stuff out there, but it gives you a rough idea of, of what time you're using. Now, rescue time, unfortunately, doesn't work for the iPhone. And that's where I know most of my clients and probably you and certainly me waste our time. And it is alarming when you actually see what you're doing on apps. But let's just say, for the just for this example, right? You're doing four hours. Now, four hours every day for a work week, that's 20 hours in the work week. And let's say that you're making $20 an hour. Now, I know most of you are high achievers and you're people that are becoming the author of your own story or maybe you're already an author of your own story and you listen to this just to keep yourself on track. You know, we're always resetting and course correcting. But let's just say for, for argument's sake, you're making $20 an hour, and well, we're not gonna count in opportunity costs, we're not gonna count in how if you're younger and you make this money, you invest it, it's gonna be even more than 20. And again, I know most of you are making a lot more than $20 an hour, but even at $20 an hour, over 20 hours per week, you're pretty much giving up $50,000 a year. Right, And again, we're talking in some of these other factors that I'm talking about. That is to say, we're actually factoring in some of those opportunity costs, excuse me, so when I got this number. So we are factoring some of those opportunity costs that you're missing on that 20 hours. Now, for some people, that's eight hours, which is a heck of a lot more. Uh, and so when you look at that over the course of a whole year, those are the opportunities that you're missing. Now, the opportunity costs I was saying that I wasn't factoring in earlier, I'm sorry, getting my math wrong, but the point is, the, those other opportunity costs that I'm not factoring in are the opportunities of things you could be doing with that time to make more money, right? So to actually make more money 
that is vested in your goals and to make yourself just feel better, right? So let's just say you're on a quest to be the author of your own story and you followed some of the suggestions that I've given you and maybe you've gone to uh, authorofyourownstory.com and you've done the seven days to becoming the author of your own story. And so on there, we I ask you to do some very specific exercises. It's seven days that are guided. And during that time, you start writing out what you're doing. And you realize, gosh, I don't have enough time in the day. Now, having not having enough time in the day is the number one excuse for fitness goals. It's the number one excuse not to meditate. It's the number one excuse not to get things done in business, especially rainmaking or making calls in business. And it's the number one excuse in your relationships, right? So I don't have enough time. So if you could take back 20 additional hours, if I put 20 hours on your plate, and, and let's just, that's being conservative. Let's say you're somebody who spends a lot of time watching TV, you binge Netflix, you've seen Narcos and everything else. Now let's double that, and that's 40 hours a week. That's a full work week, double throughout a year. If you had that time, you could run another business. You could achieve those goals. You could read for an additional hour a day. You can meditate for an hour a day. That's only two. You could spend an hour, an extra hour a day with your family. Four, let's say you exercise an hour. That just takes up your basic four hours. You have that time and that opportunity. And this is why I'm saying you're wasting $50,000 a year doing the little stuff. Now, of course, there's always times that, you know, watching a movie or watching TV, there's nothing wrong with that. I love movies. But wait, the idea is tracking this time allows you, it allows you to be specific and make a decision on whether you are wasting time or using that time wisely. And that allows you control in your destiny and allows you to become the author of your own story. So what I want you to do is just pull out your journal and what I want you to do is start tracking. What are you doing and when are you doing it? Now, I want you to track for a short period of time. Now, if you're ambitious and what I make my clients do is track for 30 days. Well, let's just start with a week. Just for a week, I want you to track your time. And every time you're on Facebook, I want you just to, to know how much time you're on there or Instagram. And even if it's just the app itself or, or whatever you're using, maybe it's reading the news, maybe it's reading the Wall Street Journal on your phone uh, when you know you don't need to, right? You've already got the basic news or whatever you need for your business. And how much time are you watching Netflix or Hulu or, or Amazon Prime or just TV in general? And how many times are you doing these mindless things? I want you to calculate that and I think you're gonna be surprised at what you find. And so once you have that, just tally it up and see if that is serving you to your higher purpose, serving you to be the man or woman that you know you can be. And now once you have that list, now you can make some decisions. You can make some decisions on where you can add that time in. And then what I want you to do after that is what I call the Dickens method. Well, I don't call it, but I, that's where I learned it to be. And look back, I want you to think two years from now, just even two years of wasting that time. Are you feeling good about yourself? What do you regret? Now, if you could take that even further and say, hey, when I'm 80, and maybe you're 80 now, but when I'm 80, looking back on my life, what did I want to do with that wasted time? And that's if you feel it's wasted, of course. But what could I have done? What could I have done more? Could I have spent more time with my kids, my family, my loved ones? Could I have worked on my health, my wellness? Could I have worked on my wealth, my business? Could I have worked more on my spirituality? That's up to you to decide. I just want to give you the tools so you can make that decision edu and educate yourself and do it from a place of power rather than just mindless action. That's it for me today. Of course, go over to authorofyourownstory.com where you get more tips, tricks, and updates, and also exclusive news. When we release courses for free, we're also releasing videos, Facebook Lives that we're doing just to people who are subscribers. So make sure you get on that list, and of course, share this with three people that you know so that they can get something from it as well. That's all for me today. Remember, go out and be the author of your own story. I hope you enjoyed today's Daily Growth Hacks. Please put your comments right down below, and remember to click subscribe. This way we can ensure that we're delivering these daily growth hacks right to you each and every day. On behalf of the whole team here, remember, go out and be the author of your own story.